Well, it looks like I'm going to do a little bit of work on the radio too. The uh, grill cloth here, just you know, it's just not up to snuff. It's just it's just too worn out here. I've already taken the screws out that on the grill cloth board, so I'll just pop it out here. Let's get a better look at how it's done. It's pretty simple stuff. So I'll be just glued on there. Circuit diagram. So I'm going to pull this off and then I'm going to find some other kind of cloth. I mean I have some real grill, grill cloth but it might be a little too too fancy for this guy here. There's not much holding the glue on. Most of it. Um, so you can just see how they did it. He just glued it. A little, little bit better there. So maybe I'll wet this pull it off. And I gotta find a nice piece of cloth to go on there. The rest of the cabinet is just a matter of cleaning and polishing. It's the irrelevant show! pills and pull that stick out of your butt. It's truth o'clock. It's time for some no holds barred, straight talk in the truth zone. Now, get ready to be outraged. Here's your host, the guy who tells it like it is, the guy whose guts you'll probably hate, but he doesn't give a rat's ass. It's Canada's most inflammatory radio host, Jerry the Truth McPherson. Oh! you mad? Too bad, because I don't care. I'm the only radio host in Canada with the balls to tell it like it is. And if that makes your blood boil, well, that's your problem. Got it? All right, let's take some calls, see what's on your idiot minds today. Julia, you're in the truth zone. I just wanted to call and say I think you're doing a great job. Boring! Next caller, Sam, you're in the truth zone. Step up to the meat grinder, pal, because you're about to get chewed out. Hey, Jerry. I think your show's great. I listen every day. Well, uh, if you, if you listen every day, then maybe you need to get a damn life. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right, eh? Okay, all right. What is it with these callers today? Pablo on the car phone. You're on the most controversial radio show in Canada with the host you love to hate. What did I say to make you mad? Oh, hey, Jerry. I just wanted to say I love you and I love your show. Uh, what's the matter, Pablo? Do you, do you not speak English? Oh, no, no, I'm fluent. I just love you. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh... I'm getting pretty tired of these idiots. Well, you certainly are entitled to your opinion. No! No, I am not entitled to my opinion. Well, I think you are. Well, you're wrong! Well, I guess we'll have to agree to disagree on that one. What? Ah! Okay, next caller. Alicia, you're on. Hi, Jerry. Big fan. Okay, okay. Are you guys nuts? You should be boiling mad. Have you heard any of my extreme views? They're outrageous, as in you should be outraged. Well, to be honest, Jerry, sometimes you do say some things that are kind of extreme. Aha! See, I knew it. I drive you nuts. But at the same time, you're just a person like me or anyone else with feelings and hopes and dreams. And if your dream is to do a controversial radio show,
So that's why we're all here, Gregory. This is an intervention, bro. I just, I just want my little boy back. You see? It's enough, Greg. It's enough. I don't know what you're all talking about. I'm doing great. Well, I enjoy my job at the bank. Gregory, no. At least I will, until I lose interest. Oh, <laughs> oh. No. Gregory. Here we go. Look, Greg, son, you have to stop making puns. <laughs> Look at what you're doing to the people who love you. You're just, you're hurting us so, so much. This punning will destroy your marriage. What do you know about my marriage? It was an emotional wedding. Even the cake was in tears. Greg, oh. <laughs> listen to us. If you don't stop this, you are going to lose everything. Well, I may be a banker, but I certainly don't want to wind up alone. Martin, please. It's gone too far. No, uh, honey, I, I might not be able to control it. But it's our only hope. If you love your son, you'll do this for my children. Do it, Dad. <sighs> okay, uh, Linda, cover your ears. <clears throat> Greg, it's time to stop with all the cheesy puns. Cheesy? I think my puns are pretty good. I'm serious, Greg. You butter stop this right now. Well, then you should... There's uh, no way we can stand any more of this. Oh, well, in, in that case... The uh, Kurds are stacked against you, Greg. I, 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 Eat damn it, son. Uh, Do you jalapeno what you're fond doing? Uh, How paneer are you to losing all your mozzarella relatives? Uh, I, 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 ma mac and cheese? My son. My son. I, I, I can't. You have no choice. You have to, Dad. You can't take it. Finish it, Martin. Finish it. <laughs> it's fait accompli. <laughs> You're gonna end up drove alone. No! In a cottage at Stilton. <laughs> You'll send your poor wife to Brie Reefit counseling. No! And your mother will eat crackers. She can't camembert this anymore. <laughs> you do this to us? How dare you do this to us, you monster! Gregory! Honey? Forgive me, son. I, I love you. He'll be fine. Let's, let's carry him into his old bedroom. He'll feel safe there, with his action figures. Yeah, sure he will. Those will make you feel better the minute you're playing with them. <laughs> show presents Beat Poetry by Your Parents. My roof! My roof. You're not leaving the house dressed like that. <laughs> do, 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 do you think that my dad grows on trees? Would it kill you to pick up the phone? Would it kill you to visit your grandparents? Mm. What? Oh, you born in the mob. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Trying to heat the whole neighborhood. If Jenny jumped off for bridge, would you jump off for bridge? <laughs> Do you have any idea what time it is? My roof. My roof. Yeah.
sir. Hank, can you hold up there a second? Sure, but what can I do for you, boss? Hank, I need to talk to you about this email. What about it? Well, I received this email from you three minutes ago, and then I came over here for a drink of water, and then just now, you came out of the men's room. Yes. Hank, I have to ask. Sir, I'm not sure this is an appropriate... Don't lie to me, Hank. Not you. Okay, sometimes... Just spit it out. Okay, yeah, sometimes I... Just say it, Hank. I'm ready for it. Sometimes I send emails from the toilet. Oh, my God. been going on? I don't know, I guess since I got my new smartphone. Oh, oh, that was so long ago. Oh, you had one of the first ones. Oh, oh and to think I introduced you to my wife. I don't see how that's related. I am to just a... so upset. I can barely look at you. Tell me, okay, on a daily basis, how many emails? I don't know, like four or five a day? Four or five a day? Why are you spending so much time in there? What, what are you, want to cleanse? I'm sorry, I just... Oh, my God! Hank, I trusted you. I was so proud of you. The most productive employee. I used to brag about your output. Your output, Hank! Oh. But you have made a mockery of this company, forcing everyone's eyes to pass over your... your latrine literature, your... Your, your, your stall statements, your porcelain publications, your flush flashes, and I'm not even getting into your toilet tweets, which I mean, my God, that takes it to a whole nother level. It, it's a regular thing people do. Oh, you're regular, Hank. You have made that clear. You're very regular. It's like I'm working with an all-brand commercial. You're overreacting a bit, sir. No, no, I am underreacting. You are taking us all into the bathroom with you with this behavior. Oh, this is ridiculous. How can you even tell they're written on the toilet? Oh, oh, it is written all over them. Shall I read from the email you sent at 8.45? <clears throat> the quarterly reports are on the main drive. <laughs> and you can download them. Whenever! Cheers, <laughs> Hank. Yeah. Sir, I think you're reading it. Hey, Hank, 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 Hank. This has to stop. Fire off your emails when you're driving like the rest of us. Listening to The Irrelevant Show on CBC Radio 1 and Sirius XM. Coming to you today from the Arden Theater in St. Albert, Alberta. For free podcasts of The Irrelevant Show episodes or sketches, go to iTunes or our website, cbc.ca slash irrelevant show. And if you have a comment about the show, we always enjoy hearing from you. Our address is irrelevant at cbc.ca. Today's episode of The Irrelevant Show is brought to you by Schrodinger's Cat. And at the same time, not brought to you by Schrodinger's Cat. Both of these things are equally true. Schrodinger's Cat, proud sponsor and proud not sponsor of The Irrelevant Show. Now, please welcome our musical guest who is Kieran Martin Murphy, and one who isn't. It's Kieran Martin Murphy and Jan Randall! Like a man nine 
George arrives, but Jorge always gets high fives. Vacation Jorge! Drinks margaritas, always orders bus. Strides the beach in his Take a breath. Are you 
sucking your thumb. Sorry. I'll hold the microphone farther away. Oh, God. I'm losing battery on my cell phone. It says 10% left, but we all know that means it's going to cut out in about six. Anything I can do for you? Just keep talking. <laughs> okay. I'm here, and I'm gonna keep talking. Tell me about all the power you're using right now. <laughs> I'm using so much power right now. single one for you, Steve. Steve? Steve? Steve! Honey, why are all the lights on? Oh, Steve just lost his power. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I love him. listen to the radio myself so that's one of my more favorite shows holy smoke spunky so I thought you might get a kick out of listening to it too uh, that's on the CBC Canadian Broadcasting Corporation <coughs> here's the guy who's making all the noise here I'm gonna go up there <laughs> now my bench is high enough that no cats jump up onto it anymore I used to jump up onto my old bench, but this one's a little higher, so it's a big thrill for him. Look, look right into the camera. Look, no, okay, walk by the camera. And lose all your fur while you're here, too. That would be good. Just leave it all behind here. You know, and you know what else, Spunky? If you feel like barfing, just go right ahead, because you do anyway. I don't know, if you're a cat owner, you know this. Cats are very finicky about where they do their rear end business 
but when it comes to barfing, anywhere will be just fine. And where they are. I'll barf right here. Okay, so anyway, thanks a lot for watching that. Radio's in great shape now. I put the chassis back inside. I'm praying that this glue is going to disappear when it dries. But if it doesn't, I have another piece of material. I'll just do it again and figure out another way to, to glue it. The, the thing about this is most of this is visible through this very large window. So uh, actually it's going to go this way. There we go. Anyway, oh, you're back. <laughs> you can't figure out how to get down, can you? Here, I'm going to help you down, okay? Yeah, I can help you down. Just have a look in the camera over here. There you go. Giganto cat. Here, let me help you down because I. This is an old cat here, and his his joints and legs aren't the best anymore. It's a long jump from the top of my bench. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, uh, just, yeah, <laughs> I'm just done pretty soon here.